super important for making paper. This is called a mold and a decal. This is your mold and this is your decal. Um, the mold is what goes on the bottom and the decal is what goes on the top. The decal is what forms what's called a decal edge on your paper. So the decal is used to make this decal edge and that's how you can tell a piece of handmade paper very easily is they have the decal edge all the way around. All right. And so one important thing to remember when you're making a handmade piece of paper is that the mold has to go on the bottom and the decal has to go on the top, but you have to remember it's very easy to get them turned over. And if you turn it over this way, your paper will not come out. You think you want to catch the paper in it this way, um, but then when you go to put it out, it won't lay flat. And that's what the decal does. The decal actually catches the paper in and then when you remove it, it's flat and then you'll be able to put it out. So you need to make sure that the decal is going right on the screen, not on the part where it goes in like that if you do it this way. And always somebody does that, it's okay, don't worry. However, if you do that, you just will wanna, we call this a kiss off, so you just kiss it back off in the vat and you start over again. And that is one of my favorite things about paper making is there really are no mistakes. You can always start over. You just scrape the paper off at any point, put it back in the vat and make a new piece. And that is the magic of paper making. All right, we're gonna make a sheet of paper now. To make a sheet of paper, you get your towel and your sponge up here, get your mold and your decal together. And we're going to put the paper onto, this is Formica. And you wanna get your Formica set over I'm going to move all this stuff for you. Um, get your Formica set over to this side. And you want to take your decal, put it on top of your mold. You want to stir your vat up because you want to get all of the pulp off of the bottom. This vat, since we just put pulp in it, is pretty heavy on pulp, so we should get a nice thick sheet. Put it in. You always want to shake that way and that way. That aligns your fibers. If you don't do that little shake, your paper will not be as strong because you're aligning your fibers to go lengthwise and horizontally and vertically. Okay, and then you're letting it drip. Once it's dripped, you put it over on this towel, then you're going to take your decal off. You wanna take it off straight up and over because you do not want it to drip on your paper. If you get a drip on there, it will make a watermark. Those are called that man's tears <laughs> because because you're sad that you have, unless you want a watermark. If I wanted watermarks at this point, I could take like my water bottle and spray it. Um, so I want, I've now, oh, I skipped a step because I was talking. I want to take water out. Taking water out of paper makes it stronger. So I want to carefully pat it with the towel. I also, now I'm going to put it on here. We have made paper with the mold and decal, which is Western. We're drying paper by restraint, which is the Eastern way of drying. So we're going to put it on here and then you use your sponge to get the water out of it. And I always say you use your towel when it's side up and you use your sponge when it's side down this way. And you wanna get quite a bit of that water out because you're sticking it down on here and Drying by restraint is what makes it so flat. And I'm getting it, it's very wet, so I'm gonna move it over here. And you wanna keep using your sponge on it until you're not seeing too much water come out of the edges. And I'm still seeing water, and you wanna make sure you're poking up into the corners so otherwise your corners will come off. And then you wanna take this off kind of like a band-aid, just pop it up and you'll have a nice piece of paper. And once you get that done, you wanna use your sponge just to go around the edges a little bit. And then you have your piece of paper. So today we're going to be doing binding and you'll end up with um, a journal that looks like this. This is Japanese stab binding and we're gonna take 20 pieces of paper and put them into our journal. Um, first thing you need to do is look at your papers and 
after you make your papers, um, you'll have a few of them that you've made, and you can choose a paper to put for your covers by, you want it to be pretty thick, so I'm going to take this one. Um, this one is one of the ones that I embossed, so it says be kind on it. You can see my words got pretty nicely embossed, so I'm going to use this one. It's pretty thick. And then I like this one is one of the ones that I pulp poured, and so I'm going to use this one for the back cover, and they kind of, I like the way the pinks match there, so I'm going to use those. Oh, I also wanted to show you this one from yesterday. This is one of the ones that was a watermark, so you can see the difference between how the watermark is just lightly in there and the embossing is much, much deeper 